Hey guys, Winevitable here from Stormcast, bringing you a little Heroes of the Storm replay action. We're on Cursed Hollow, and I'm with my friend Scoobers. Scoobers, how you doing? Why don't you take us through the teams? Hey guys, so we got Sky Shatter playing what appears to be a taxidermied uh, Ragar in bottom lane, Captain America on Tyrael. We got Uther, which is Haze of Shadow 6. Dark Pyro is on Tychus, and Titan's Fury is on Nova for blue team. We got Kelly Grown 89 on a sweet skin Zeratul in mid lane. We got a pile of people in bottom lane with Kaiser Dragon on Tyke, Arcanathos on Ragar, Urameshi on Lich King, and Risen on Demon Hunter. Alright, and they're out of the gate, headed towards those watchtowers now. Both teams taking their respective towers. Uh, looks like we might have some action on the bottom here. Uh, all five players from our red team. Looks like they're trying to set up a gank, Scoob. Yeah, top lane's pretty quiet right now. Looks like Nova's uh, having some technical difficulties right outside the gate. <laughs> Had to take a bathroom break already. This early in the game. What, is what a new. <laughs> Two um, in mid. Zeratul moving towards top a little bit. Looks like you just need to soak some lane experience. Otherwise, they're wasting their time. I'd say that was crazy. You're having five guys there at the bottom. Uh, just missing Captain America there. Not uh, No action yet. But uh, Zeratul's going to go in and take the watchtower. Oh, we might have something in the top lane. Looks like uh, they're, yeah, Red Team's moving in. Arthas gets off the stun. <laughs> Tychus is a little bugged out. We are in the uh, the alpha phase here, guys. So the replays are a little buggy. Yes, they're just trying to apparently soak some experience. Nova looks like she's back and is finally headed back to the middle lane. Helping out a little bit. Regards having to play pretty passive on the bottom lane because he's getting shipped away by the duo down there. Zeratul's moving on his way back bottom. He is, looks like he might be going. The gank there, still 3v2 in the top. Uh, there we go, Uther. Going for the stun, they're falling back now. Looks like they're gonna grab the fountain. And so, yeah, what do you think about the, the early game here? Uh, as far as composition, I mean, how do you want to situate in the lanes? Do you have any. Uh, top lane looks pretty solid. I mean, they got a healer and somebody who's, like, pretty much technically classified as a bruiser in Uther. He's kind of throwing his mana around a lot. I know he's had to because of some of the, the ganks that have come there. Uh, Tychus is really strong, has relatively high mobility for his carry. He's a little more tanky. Bottom lane's got some action going on. Healing ward goes down by Regar. Decent talent choice there for sure. Helps some lane sustain, heals the minions, can help with the push if you manage to have an opening. Oh, it looks and like there goes first plus top one. Down. Tychus, yeah. Oh, two. Arthas going down as well, and Demon Hunter's going to make it out. So a little bit of pressure there on that top gate from blue team. Quick double in top, looks like they're going back and forth pretty heavily in bottom. Yeah, Don't know if they're experiencing some, some latency, Zeratul's definitely uh, moving around a little bit slow. Uh, I don't believe their fountain charges are up right now. The tribute is spawning Here's bottom, the so they're in a pretty rough place. That's it, and for those of you guys who don't know, there are tributes spawning on this map. You get three, you do curse the enemy team. Uh, all their minions, of course, doing uh, having one hit point towers, not shooting at all. And some action going on here. One hero goes down. Looks like Arthas might go as well. Arthas, is Arthas does go down. Demon Hunter takes a dirt nap. Zeratul's on the way. He's getting chased, oh. although it's Blue like... Team already does have the trip, and it, Zeratul will definitely take it. Oh, there goes Zeratul. Yeah, Tech is able to make it out. And the first tribute going to the Blue Team. Check their vision here. You can see that. Uh, it's a decent choice. Uh, you can't get much push times out. All the enemies are still up. So if you're here and close and healthy, I don't really see a reason why not. They do have a two-level lead. Uh, the second talent has been picked up and will soon be a third talent tier for Blue. So we'll see what they do. Regar took some regen just for a little more lane stay. Nova took poison just for the extra kill potential when he sneak up. Tychus goes with a pretty standard Vampiric Assault. It's so all around like probably what you'd expect. Okay, they're fighting over the second tribute now. And... I know, it's hard to say how this is going to go. Rhaegar coming in there, getting some heals off. Tychus falling. Looks like that red team is a little bit outmatched when it comes to these team fights. Yeah, it's, it's definitely clear cut in blue team's favor right now. With the two level advantage, especially fighting early, uh, there's not going to be 
they're going to have to try making play in some other way. As you can see, Demon Hunter comes in, like, way, way, way too late right there. Not doing anybody any good. That is uh, the Tier 3 talents for Blue, while they're still two levels off on Red. Zeratul's trying to get a pick up on Nova here. Lich King completely misses his stun. With that, she looks like she might make it out. She's gonna get help from a dart. Yeah, there we go, gets a nice heal off. And now the tables might be turned. Trick is coming in with his overkill. Just not quite a lot of pain there. Regard will probably take a fall here, I imagine. Maybe he gets oh, he out, gets he gets out. Oh, he does. And looks like uh, both regards are making out. He's barely there, barely in the open. Arthas goes down though, and Zeratul looks like he's gonna fall as well again. I don't know, he might be able to escape going topside. Demon Hunter's in trouble. Zeratul is a pl a no. pl <laughs> attempting to stealth <laughs> and be sneaky there, but Nova has good vision in the bush. It is hard good to eyes. pick up. Uh, some stationary targets when you're stealth, especially in a brush like that, because the shadows change as you move in and out of the bush, so good eyes on her. Uh, Demon Hunter is, without a doubt, the weakest link on red team right now. Making really slow plays, uh, using her vault to engage instead of disengage, leaving herself really open. Uh, they're relatively heavy on crowd control between Uther I and mean, you got your totem. Material slow as well as a grenade, so this is not a team that you want to get caught without that ability up. You absolutely have to sit to disengage. They're going in on the tribute there, topside by himself against Zeratul and Bala. Here comes the rest of the blue team. 4v2 right now. Yeah, see, she was able to use it as a quick disengage there, but it's definitely not enough with the heavy crowd control. Interior's ability to chase people lets the rest of the team debuff. Zeratul's trying to keep Uther off the tribute as best as he can. And for the most part, it's worked. Healing up. Regar is healing. It's just a 2v2. Poison comes like out, Arthas... and Regar will take a fall. Oh, Arthas able to make it away there. Just barely. But uh, looks like blue team should be able to collapse onto the tribute now and take it. Yeah, it won't be much competition. Regar is going to take a fall to Tychus here. Yeah, that overkill doing a lot of damage. And Arthas coming back. Zeratul from the bottom. Uther is still unable to get that tribute after all this time. And that is all for blue team. Tyrael uses his ult on Zeratul, so they are, they are definitely suffering without a doubt. They're coming out with big crowd con Um, Nova just did decide to take triple tap. Uh, not, uh... It's not a terrible ult. I mean, it, without a doubt, it has its, it's in a big clumpy team fights, especially when you're going to be fighting heavily as five on the tribute. Um, it's. I mean, obviously, it's going to depend on your style of play. It's fantastic to have it, especially with softer heroes like Zeratul or Bala. Uh, depending on the ult that Tychus takes, it's also fantastic. If he, obviously, if he takes Odin, you're going to struggle a little bit. More action in top lane. And it looks like blue team able to get the red team's goal in here. They are really, really, really risky, hurt. Risky maneuver there, yeah, definitely hurt. Uh, red team was aware of this. I feel like they could have come in and stolen it, but they're pretty spread out on the map right now. Bala's taking a camp, uh, Tyke's fighting mid lane, and then Rigar bottom lane by himself with two top lane perk. I think, I definitely think at this point, you know, there's probably some, some not great feelings between the teams, uh, or the team on red, red. Uh, they're absolutely just trying to soak experience from the lanes to get level 10. I know. I think they know for a fact that they can't go up. They are three levels down, and without all that extra level means absolutely everything. It does. Those alts are so important. A little bit of engagement on that top left tower. Material manages to make it out with about three health, but somehow ticks down. I believe that was Zeratul's rending cleave that picked up just a little bit of extra damage that was needed. Still huge fights in the time. Nova's ult comes out, Lich King yeah, hits the dirt again. And Bala doing her usual coming in 45 seconds too late. It's a little hard to see. Three heroes, two heroes down right now for the red team. The counters there, a little bit obscured in the top right. I do have Bala and Rhaegar able to stabilize the situation with blue team. Falling back for now. And uh, sitting pretty right now, up two levels, 20 kills to one.
Yeah, this is incredibly one-sided. And uh, looks like Zeratul's blowing his ult on Tychus, absolutely opening up. Uh, that ult is, that's actually not great play on Tychus's part. Uh, for the newer player, Zeratul has two different ults. One is a Void Prison, which can encase her entire team, and it's basically a hard crowd control that until talented at 20 does affect her teammates as well. And his second ult uh, basically gives him extra attack speed and lets him lunge at targets. So essentially how that breaks down is... Looks like we've got a little bit of action at the top lane. We'll pick that thought up in just one sec. Demon Hunter's on her way out. Regar's trying to back up. They're pretty separated. And she will absolutely take a fall in mid lane. Demon Hunter really needs to pick it up. Uh, so to continue that thought, um, the Zero Tools ult, essentially what it does is if you are on the run, every time he lunges, he gets an extra attack. So you actually increase his attack speed by running away. And if you just stand totally still, he gets nothing out of it. There's that ult. Huge team fight mid. Yep, huge team fight. It's like it's going, pulling out the Odin. I don't think Red Team's going to be able to withstand this, even though they're fighting underneath the fort here. With Knights on their side. Uh, we about the difference here. We have one Tychus on the blue team going for Odin, and Tychus and red team going for the laser hero. Yeah, I don't agree with red team's all choices very much on this map. I think that Bloodlust is not a bad one. They do have three pretty heavy auto attackers, so it is good, but I do think they need to heal. I think Arthas needs to use his ability as a tank, especially in this. Being able to soak extra damage. Uh, by absorbing the ghouls is what they need. I think Cinderbosa was a bad choice. I think that piddly little damage with a slow isn't gonna stop uh, the chase that blue team has right now. Alright, and uh, this is the first tribute going to blue team. Um, Arth is out of position. And he's in here. He Tyrion makes away. a nice play there with a little bit of a body block. Just gets around him. Good ult. Caught him out. Knew that the team was Busy doing absolutely nothing in mid lane, so solid plays there. Uh, map control going to the blue team. Uh, at this point, though, I mean, pushing that gate might be a little bit too much. I think falling back and getting some murder camps might be a better decision. Uh, everybody's relatively healthy for the most part. Vala just dives oh, wow. right in for the usual and <laughs> ends up face off. down. It's just, just uh, human animal. Oh, and Nova. Oh, nice heal there from Dragar. Uh, just out of the very last second. Yeah, saved her with probably 40 or 50 health left. Oh, look at that. Interior coming in, throwing up a shield. Ooh, love to have it. <laughs> so, man, another two by relatively active game. I honestly, the drill actually picks up their kill on Uth. But uh, Regar immediately dies afterwards. Tychus follows. Lich King is done. Uh, the two level advantage, um, they're actually not as far behind this time as they were in some of the earlier team fights, but I honestly believe at this point a huge part of what is losing them these fights is sl some positioning, without a doubt. I mean, that's one of the hugest parts of any MOBA, but I think really it does come down to all choice. Tychus needs that extra survivability, especially when playing from behind. Yeah, no, Arth, and uh, uh, Zeratul able to make it out there, get a tribute for Red. He is picking up the ogre, the top ogre camp for blue team, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get scouted here. They're on the watchtower, and there's three That's of them. And if he, if he gets found, he will die. Yeah, when you and see, he, I believe he will. That watch, you watch over down like that with the merc camp up. It's uh, it's a pretty good sign that they're gonna try and take the mercenaries from there. Nova completely whips the snipe, but we'll pick it up. But still gets the kill there. After yeah. a second. Hero slain. Alright, and now it is a uh, three level advantage for blue team. Looks like a little bit of engagement on the golem here. Uh, Tychus coming in over killing. Arthas ahead, Rhaegar not able to get the There we go. But it's not enough. Uh, throwing his own down. Will he be able to make it out? Demon Hunter coming. runs in from behind. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, there she goes. No idea what's going on. <laughs> Ends up in a pile of apples next to a hangar right there. There's a no noble probably thought. Gonna lose <laughs> <laughs> they're going to lose uh, their goal and want that adapt, and this could be a pretty serious push. I fully expect uh, a push. Everybody's really healthy. Tyrael's a little low on mana, but everybody else has plenty. Uther's like, back, yeah. gathering the tribute again. Able to get that. Four heroes on the goal. Uh, Eric will coming in. He's trying to pick off Nova. Uh, 
shield from Rhaegar. And yeah, that's it's not looking good right now. Definitely uh, some lack of awareness here. Nova's all comes out. Get Lich King actually does get blocked by Rhaegar. Lich King's gonna survive with about 30, but Rhaegar eats one for him. That's it, yeah. Arthur's able to use they the fountain. Their awareness is without a doubt lacking. I mean, the, and here comes Ball, like, here to save the day. <laughs> Flanking, thinking that people take uh, double damage like from the back or something. A, a broken record is like, I mean. This isn't one of those games where a flank attack does extra damage, you know? It's, uh, you can't do the same damage from any direction. And it looks like Arthas actually takes a fall. going down That's the first keep of the game. So yeah, Tyrael is on Arthas oh, and will die to the yeah. burning uh, <laughs> aura, right right actually. Now, yeah. That's Tychus comes in on a huge heal and Tyrael probably won't survive this, I wouldn't think. No, He's, and does that. He does stop, turns around, yeah, he goes down. Uh, with three heroes down now, I, guess the, I feel like blue team could just push this core once they get that second key. Of course, the golem here. Interesting enough, not going yeah, for the core. I, I do believe this will be pretty much the last push. The golem, yeah, generally the golem does go for the core. Got diverted. I'm not sure by what, actually. That is kind of a weird thing, but ends up helping them take the second key of the game. This will probably be the end of the game, I imagine. Regar dies again. <laughs> GG gets called from Blue Team. Flying across my screen there. The Rygolf is like, GG. Oh, an invite being sent out. Oh, so I guess once again, this is a, a tough, tough game, so these guys are out relatively good coordination. And that's Blue Team takes it. A lot of uh, well coordinated moves, lack of awareness on red, bad ult choices, and some bad early positioning. Uh, getting pushed out of lane early, as an example. Um, when they need to get the first tribute sort of forced, in a sense, uh, a few of the other red team members to take a fall for the first tribute that was mostly unnecessary. Overall, relatively stompy. Three level difference at the end. Huge kill deficit. 35 is pretty serious. I mean, even for a pub game. So what do you think? That is uh, quite the action-packed game, I'd say. It was only, what, uh, 16 minutes, 51 seconds? Uh, epic, epic battles in there. Uh, a bit one-sided. Um, but I think, like you're saying, a lot of it has to do with awareness, and uh, those alt choices certainly did not help the, the uh, red team out here. Um, but of course, you know, when you're in a pub game, it can be hard to communicate, so that might have had something to do with it. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, um, you know, generally you want to see people play as smart as they possibly can for, you know, talent choices and just play off other people. You know, as an example, if, like I mentioned, if you're playing from behind, you know, Lich King is going to need the extra survival. Like, there were multiple times, especially during the Golem fights, where the extra survivability would have made worlds of difference. Uh, Reign of Vengeance for Vala, not terrible. Not really ideal, I think. Um, I think her other ult probably would have been a little bit better for this, just with the heavier AoE damage. Although, you have relatively the same amount of mobility, so... Uh, the plays that she was making, running in from behind repeatedly, I yeah, don't you can't think... can't do that. You have to, uh... Honestly, yeah, it's more on the play than the talent, without yeah. a doubt. Uh, most of the heroes, I guess, I suppose they just hit 16, but only Tychus even chose a level 16 talent. Yeah, I'm sure they're... Um, they're uh, frankly, there's a, a few stranger choices from a good portion of the heroes. Tyrael's, uh, good talent choices, without a doubt. Regards got really solid played more of an aggressive, almost tanky role, like in a lot of the, the top lane fights that they had. Really like taking up, absorbing it, soaking the damage, uh, healing himself, using his ult on himself just to actually bait kills from people. Tyrael's choices are really good, uh, especially for the way the teams matched up. Uther did take the good ult, thank god. And uh, he, he did take more of a tank role. He did take, uh, you know, spell shield and imposing presence. But, uh, yeah, a uh, decent game, super stompy, and really there's not much else to say. All right, well, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to bring you some more of these in the future. Uh, feel free to leave your comments below. Uh, and send us, you know, if you don't have any good replays, we're always looking to cast some high-level professional-style games uh, as many as we can get. All right, well, for Skewers and Win, thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later.